All right, quick little video on running sutures. So I just did the video on simple interrupted sutures as you can see here. They work very well, they're very easy. But sometimes if you have a big long laceration or a laceration on a face, uh, it's gonna take longer and um, you can use a running suture. Now a running suture, places to use that, it's gonna be quicker to do. So if you have a long laceration, it's gonna take less time. If the wound edges are already well reapproximated, like here where there might be some deep sutures or it's just not that deep, it's a good place. Also, it's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So on a face, if you're gonna have 10 stitches and you have all these knots here, some people, it doesn't look quite as pretty. So on a face, you can use a running suture and it looks a little bit more pleasing. So the technique is it's very much the same. You start out exactly the same, put in a regular simple interrupted suture, exact same technique. Pull that through most of the way, and then you tie a knot just like you would for the simple interrupted. Two throws, and then several single throws. Take that knot, pull it over to one side, and you trim off only that loose end there. You want to leave the other end attached. Now here's where it varies a little bit for the running suture. Put the second one in, and you want to go just a little bit to the side of that first one. Come across, out the other side, and pull it through. From here there's two different techniques, both of them completely correct, just a personal preference for how you go about the rest of the wound. From here, you can either, either go straight across for this next suture and then angle the deep part over this way, which will cause your sutures to appear on the outside straight across. Alternatively, you can go a little bit over to the side here and angle the deep part straight across, which will cause the sutures on the outside to have a little bit of an angled appearance. Again, it's completely correct. Uh, it's just a matter of whether the angled part is deep or the angle part is on the surface, just whatever you're more comfortable with. I'm gonna do it where the, uh, the outside is straight across. So you go straight across, down in. Now you wanna angle this just a little bit over to the side. So it comes out next to that previous suture. And pull it through. And then you just continue on with that exact same technique, straight across. Angle a little bit to the side. Pull it through. Straight across. A little bit to the side. One's a little bit deeper here. A little bit to the side and pull it through. So you would go on like that for the length of the wound. Now when you get to the end, you need to put a knot in the other end. Also very simple to do. I'll show you how to do that. So you put in last suture, again straight across. Now instead of bringing this one out, way over here, oops. Instead of bringing this one out way over here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring it out just to the side of that last stitch. You would bring it through just to the side of that last stitch and you leave a little bit of a tail here, a little bit of a loop. And that's what you're gonna to use to tie that knot. So two throws, one, two, and you just grab right in the middle of that loop, and then you tie the knot exactly like you would the other way, there you would before. Tighten it down, and then several more single throws. Four or five times. And you just cut the edges off, and all done. 
So the knots will be on opposite side. On this side, down here it's on this side. Down here it's on this side. And you can see that if you had, you know, several centimeters of, you know, whole length of a running suture like this, it's going to be a lot more pretty for what it's worth compared to, you know, a bunch of simple interrupted knots like this, especially on a face where people are going to be staring at it. Because usually on a face, you know, often we don't cover the, we don't cover it with a band-aid or anything. So, so there you go. Overall, places to use this, places where there's not a lot of tension, places where it's going to be a little bit more conspicuous, you're going to see it. Once you get a hang of it, it's really not that hard to do. When you first start, it's maybe a little bit more intimidating, but really fine. It uh, works out just well once you get into it and, uh, and get comfortable with it.